Welcome to my last video on Singapore. In this video we cover the beautiful Marina Bay, the amazing shopping in Orchard Road, the Singapore National Museum, and some of Galen. I hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoy it being there. The Marina Bay is sort of an amazing place with world class buildings that are just quite amazing and they stand out a lot. They're beautiful, they're sights to see. They're not just typical everyday office buildings. Yet architects really wanted to say something. Hello, this is part of the Marina Bay Sands project. It's a hotel, but more than a hotel. It's also a casino, a retail center, and a theater. But you'll see more of that in these films. Hello, this is the dining area of the Fullerton Bay Hotel. It's a really, it's a beautiful place right on the water and they welcome you inside. It's not restricted to paying guests. This is a fountain right next door to that. These are some of the impressive office buildings in the downtown near the bay. This is called Merlin. Back in the 1980s, some of the tourist board created a myth about a half fish, half lion. And it sort of took that million This is the entrance to the shopping side of Marina Bay Sands. It's quite elaborate and quite well done, as you would expect. The Marina Bay Sands is basically three 55-story hotels sort of combined at the top. They're sort of inspired by propped up playing cards connected by a cantilevered 1.2 hectare sky. There are a lot of long walkways using the MRT. This particular one going Marina Bay Sands has mirrors on the side. It's sort of unique where you can see a lot of mirrors further down. Most of the others don't, but it does make it more interesting. We arrived at Orchard Road via the MRT. There really isn't a lot to see other than endless halls and malls. And there, there's a few stories up and a few stories down. So we came out to see the appropriate entrance to the MRT and the malls. Yeah, from outside. And um, it's quite impressive. I mean, every fancy store that's expensive has quite a layout here. And the beautiful And across the street, of course, there's also malls. And the malls isn't just one place, it's like block after block after malls. We walked a ways to see sort of the end of that. And it is quite an impressive um, thing. This is um, the mall across the street. Then as we walked further down, different unique entrances to different malls are, are along the way there. And you can see there, um, and many, many people all walking and all taking it in. So if you really want to buy something or just spend money, it's great. If you just want to look around, it can be entertaining also, and people watching. Like to the left, there's a little like, like a beach umbrella thing. We'll get back to that later. And there's the tall buildings like the Mandarin Orchard Street, and there's also a Mandarin um, by the bay. There's um, more than one in this city. Okay, so if I mention that beach umbrella, we will get to that. And this is going down the street further, and as you might guess, more fancy, expensive buildings.
and you can walk and walk and walk if you want. And it's quite impressive, and you can go inside where there's less, it's hard less to see, though there are a lot of flowers and other things in place. There's a Chanel building. Now this place I mentioned is the ice cream flavors, and I saw this on a different YouTube, where you pick the type of outer coating, and then you pick a flavor, and they cut them up and they make an ice cream sandwich for you. This was in someone else's video. So we thought we'd try it, and it was actually, it was delicious, and with the most reasonably priced thing in the whole place, because if you go to the store, you get some This is my Next, we decided to visit the, the highly rated National Museum of Singapore. It um, tells a lot about life in Singapore in the past hundred years and the galleries and other um, things. A few exhibits, I mean, there's a lot of exhibits. I only took pictures of a few because if you want to see it all, you might as well come to Singapore and see it. But it shows the great advancement Singapore has made and what they've been through. Then one exhibit I don't know is a thing called the tree, and it's more a prodigy, both of the forest, both of the animals, and it's, and it's quite very interesting. So I just thought to let, it, let you see that in the room here. We arrived at Gei Lung during the week of Chinese New Year's and we were surprised how quiet and dead everything was as Chinese New Year's is a national holiday. People take time off. People don't do things. And we started from an MRT station a ways out of town and gradually walked towards the downtown. As we got closer, things seemed a bit busier. 
I mean, that area is known for temples, mosques, spiritual things, and one time known for brothels. I don't know, didn't see any sign of that when we were there. Um, as you can see here, entering like a mosque area to see what's going on. And, you know, we felt welcome and things were um, fine. And most of the places of worship were right, not on the main street, but often on side streets that were a half a block away. So if you walked and kept your eyes open, you'd see what was there. So overall, it's a nice place. Um, it was just, you know, it wasn't uh, overstimulation I expected. The Jollibee, I took the photo coming from the Philippines, and the Jollibee is trying to be all over the world and take over just to show it's, <coughs> it's, it's made it there anyway. And she made a beautiful temple. And people were celebrating. So much of Singapore was so busy, it was, I guess, refreshing to see it lower paced. 